Hi everyone, we are continuing with our countdown to New Year's and believe it or not, we are down to countdown day number three. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining us on the countdown to New Year's. We are on day number three. So kind of a quiet day today. So just kind of go over the day that we had. I've got some snacks tonight and of course I've got my teeny tiny little bottle of my little champagne, my sparkling wine. So looking forward to having this with my snack. Let's go over the day. So today was the last day. So our oldest daughter, Rainer, her husband, Jeremy, my son-in-law, and our grandchildren, oldest grandchildren, Quinn and Manny Matt, ended up going home today. So woke up this morning, and of course, I, I, they pre-packed a lot of things last night, but there were like last-minute things after showers and things to put in and grab uh, another quick load of laundry and get that done. While we were doing that, we finished up uh, leftover bagels, leftover donuts, leftover English muffins and waffles. So we've got all that stuff out of here. So I am not tempted to eat that stuff when they're gone. So we did that. Um, finished packing and doing laundry. Then we went out for a quick lunch. We just went to D. Michael B's over in Albertville, like five, ten minutes away. And it's not really nothing really too special about that restaurant, but it's got just a really nice interior. It's like a log cabin. They've got a couple of the really like stone fireplaces, so it's a real like a lodge kind of feel. We just had burgers and I had some pulled pork and um, Raina was the only good one. She had a cup of soup and the Caesar salad, but other than that, it was just a, so like I said, nothing special with the meal. It's just like the atmosphere. It's just kind of a cozy Minnesotan type atmosphere. So we had fun doing that. And of course, just spending time with each other. We came home, they got the suitcases out in the car, and then I went next door to pick up Mr. Griffin, my sleepover buddy. So he's coming over for tonight. They've got a birthday party. They've got two sets of twins, and it's uh, one of the twins' birthdays. So they were getting together with their family to have a big celebration. So I just have Mr. Griffin for the night. I thought he might come in and make an appearance, seeing how I have snacks. But he went to bed already. And, uh, yeah, so he came over, got to play a little bit with Maddie, Matt, and they are really missing Matt and Quinn and Raina and Jeremy both are missing the kitties, and they've had, like, a kitty sitter go over and just kind of make sure that they're doing okay, you know, they've got food and everything like that laid out, and she takes pictures and sends it to them, and they're, like, ooing and aahing and missing their kitties, so I thought they might get a kick of having Mr. Griffin come over a little earlier so that they could kind of play and pet with them and do tug-of-war and things like that with his toys. Then they were off to the airport about 3 o'clock. Uh, said our goodbyes, and um, Griffin and I, we got, got up on the couch, put the TV on, kind of laid into each other, and the next thing I know, Mr. Griffin and I were sleeping on the couch. So I think we woke up maybe 6.30, maybe going on 7 o'clock or so. So got him some dinner. Um, I wasn't really that hungry. I had some leftover on my burger from the house kitchen very very good so I had that with some of my seasoned fries that I heated up in the air fryers to get them nice and crispy again got to work a few hours on YouTube and I've been thinking what am I gonna wear tonight I gotta I gotta get a new video um, but anyway so it's well you know it's two o'clock in the morning on really the next day and Griffin's been in and out in and out in and out start to get ready and he wants to go out so anyway I think that's why he's sleeping now because he got worn out going up and down the stairs. So I'm just going to have a quick little snack. Wish you guys uh, 
countdown to New Year's Day 3. And yes, I think that's about all I had going on for the day. But anyway, I think it was in my vinyl box. And it might have been uh, the end of summer box or something. That we had um, uh, some Crackerology that came in for our treat. And it was just the crackers, but they were so good. It was like a white wine and basil. So I went on the website, and I know I had a code that I got from Vino to use on the website. But I'm thinking maybe when I, I ordered it was around Labor Day, so I got an additional uh, set prices as well. But I ended up getting some kits. So I had used the white wine and basil kit, and it came with like a strawberry jelly, kind of like a cream cheese type thing on it, and some uh, cookie crackers, and it was really, really good. So... I also got uh, I got a red wine and rosemary one. I got a barbecue one, and I got this lemon blueberry one. Can you believe I've only opened up the white wine and basil one? So I thought this would go really good with the champagne or the sparkling wine. I also noticed tonight I went on the website. These are still nineteen dollars and fifty cents. I didn't get a pop up or anything like that for a sale price, but Maybe I'll see what if the vinyl still works. So if um, and I'll put it in my description if it is, so that you can get a discount on that. But anyway, they had also a s'mores one, and a jalapeno and chipotle. But we've got this lemon blueberry one. I took a few crackers out already, or cookies out already, because the cellophane is kind of noisy. So we get the little card right here, lemon love, lemon blueberry, and it shows you what the decorated cookie looks like on the back. It gives us some directions on just kind of how to put it together. And again, their website right here, crackerology.com. And then the inside. And again, I took out some cookies and some of the goodies just slipped, slipped out. So we've got this little wooden spatula right here. We've got some blueberry bourbon jam in this little packet right here. We've got, and they call this vanilla schmear. Vanilla schmear. So it must be like an icing to put on the cookies. And we've got this crunchy topping. Must be some nuts in here. And then we've got two packs like this of a lemon. It says lemon artesian cookies. So two packs of these in cellophane. And I took out four to try. And again, it's got the list on the back of what's in here. So we got two sleeves of the lemon artesian cookies, the vanilla schmear, blueberry bourbon jam, and crunchology topping. Alrighty, so that looks good, right? And of course, these are like starter things. I mean, for me, I'm not doing anything special, so I'm just going to have this. But if you were making... Um, a charcuterie board or something these would be a kind of like a good starter to maybe put some things on and then build up around it so that should be good but while we're doing that i should have opened this in the meantime the tonight i've got a prosecco and again this was from giveembeer.com they had the sparkling wine advent calendar for the countdown to new year's so it's a Prosecco from Italy. They also had uh, beer ones, of course, and then they've also got one for, like, spirits, things like that. So it would be probably, like, bourbons, whiskeys, maybe tequila, scotch, things like that, if you're into doing things like that. And, of course, it would be the little knit bottles, I'm sure. So anyway, so I get a screw-off cap, but I need my... I keep putting it down in different places. But I got this on. So I've got this hat on. I found my little sticker right here on the bottom of my Christmas box. So Happy New Year. I got that glued back on. These earrings and the necklace that I have are from Timu. And these rings right here. Timu. Nails. They're a mess. Yeah, that OB just does not stay. This is like only the second day. And I mean, you can see it just does not stay on. And Timu rings and one from QVC, I believe. Alrighty. So let's get this open. Get this poured. And then I will assemble a cookie. I might shut the... How about if I shut the camera off to do a cookie so this doesn't run too long? I'll be right back. Alrighty. So I'm back. I assembled the cookies. 
So I've got four of these cookies out. See if we can do this without making a mess. And we put on the vanilla schmear. Then a little bit of the blueberry bourbon jam. And then the little nuts on top. So just a little snack right there. I think that should go good with my Prosecco, my sparkling wine. And um, I forgot I got two Christmas cards, too, that I wanted to show. All right. So, again, that was the Crackerology, and I'll put that below. And those kits are like $19.50. I know I got a discount from Vino. I don't know if it's still active, but I'll check and see if it is. If it is, I'll put it in the link and maybe go on the site again just to see if they have any Christmas specials or anything like that. All righty. So, this first card that I got here is from Mary Catherine. Loves cats. She did put some stickers on the back of her card and on the front as well. And this beautiful card right here that says, All is calm, all is bright. The candles burning. I love the look of candles burning. So, so pretty and the lights be behind it. And then we've got some fancy filigree right there. And it says, may you feel blessed by the miracle of Christmas now and always. Merry Christmas and 2023, dearest Nancy and family, you are phenomenal. I can never say that word unless I'm not thinking about it, then it will come out. But if I see it and I'm going to say it, yeah, it's not going to come out right. I love your channel and I love that we have friends. Love Mary. And of course, everybody knows. Mary Catherine loves cats. She is such an awesome lady. If I could say that word again, like phenomenal. Yeah, I can't do it. But she, her channel, it, she just took off like leaps and bounds. And she was like so kind of nervous about starting it in the middle um, at the beginning of it. And I think she had won a giveaway from, was Kim's Happy Place at the time or Kim's Unboxings. And of course now it's hanging out with Kim. But anyway, she had won a giveaway and that was, I think, one of her first videos and getting her feet wet into doing channels and unboxings and PR boxes that she gets. She's just an amazing, an amazing lady. So, so sweet. If you don't know Mary Catherine Loves Cats, I'll have her link below as well. She's a super, super lady. Thank you so much, Mary Catherine. I really appreciate that and your kind words. Next, we have Bonnie's Bargains. I think Bonnie's been taking a break, but we have this card. We've got this snowman on the back and a beautiful card. All kinds of sparkles and a nice evergreen tree. It's, it's more trees in the background silhouetted. The card's nice and sparkly with some red balls on it. And it's the most wonderful time of the year. Yeah, I can't sing, but I do anyway. And, oh my gosh, she wrote a lot. She is such a sweet, sweet lady. She's in Utah. And Bonnie's Bargains, I'll have her link below as well. Um, she does some unboxings and thriftings and things like that. And I think she was doing something at one time with, like, some easy recipes and things for just, like, three or four ingredients to try to get through quick. Because sometimes you get a, you know, you want to try your recipe or something, and there's, like, 50,000 ingredients, and it's things that you're probably never going to use again unless you really, really, really like that, that. So having something that you can do with just a few ingredients, such a good idea. So anyway, dear Nancy, 2023, for remembering wonderful people like you. So it's the most wonderful time of the year for remembering wonderful people like you. Merry Christmas. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Much love and many blessings, Bonnie and Ed Bonnie Spoggins. And, of course, she goes on to write, and she says, I hope that this finds you doing well. It's very cold in Utah, and we have snow. It's the perfect setting for Christmas. We still do not have snow. I thought we had snow this morning, but it was just all frosted over, so there was, like, white frost everywhere this morning. But she has snow, and uh, she's just very busy with family, friends, and Christmas. And she got to go to the West Ballet in Salt Lake City with a friend, and they saw the Nutcracker. That must be so, so nice to see live in person. It was amazing and took my breath away. The performers were so talented, and the decorations and costumes were beautiful. Perfect for Christmas holidays. Take care of yourself, and please stay in touch. Bonnie. So two beautiful cards from two beautiful ladies. Alrighty, so let's try this. I poured 
my Prosecco. So I've got my champagne flute right here. I wish everyone best health, best happiness, enjoy life, and just take one day as, as it comes. It's always great to plan and and have goals and things like that, but don't skip over the everyday to day things. Enjoy each and every day. Cheers, everyone. Happy New Year. This one, it is a very, very dry wine, um, um, sparkling wine, but man, it tastes good. Alrighty, so let me. I should have taken a knife to try to break one of these cookies because I'm not sure how hard they are. But anyway, I've got this cookie right here. We've got the jam, the blueberry, and bourbon jam. It says it's got vanilla in it. It's a vanilla schmear icing. I did taste the icing. And it's like a heavy confectionery sugar icing. And then this is a lemon artesian cookie. Alrighty, going in, going in. Cheers, everyone. Cookie hard. Mm. That is good. The nice and lemony, and with the blueberry, the vanilla, the icing. Really couldn't tell you if I taste the bourbon or not, but just the lemon, the blueberry, the vanilla, the icing. It's a perfect, perfect match. These are really, really good. They're going to go really good with my Prosecco. Cheers, everyone. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending a little bit of time with me. I appreciate you guys more than you know. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I hope everyone goes out, has a fabulous, fabulous day tomorrow. And um, yeah, just have fun. Take care. Raina and um, I just got a bad cough. I was like, I don't even know if they're going to let you on the plane. And the Quinn's like just like the post nasal type drip where you just kind of just it's just dry and you just keep coughing so they both went home like that um sabrina back home in massachusetts she's not feeling well either um one of the jelly beans aiden got covid and um yeah so and um i think tori pie just says she's got the aches and pains and a headache and a little bit of a sore throat and sabrina's got that deep deep cough so anyway fingers crossed they heal soon fingers crossed i don't get sick i don't know if i could go through covid again i don't think i don't think going through it the third time is going to do me any favors so i'm hoping that's not what they have and it's just maybe just a cold from different climates but anyway you guys you guys take care stay safe be kind be happy enjoy life have some fun love you guys so much and i can't wait to see you guys tomorrow night for countdown day number two love you guys bye bye